Undersecretary of Education. The Undersecretary of Education role was established as the second highest ranking position in the United States Department of Education when the agency was established in 1979. With the addition of a Deputy Secretary position in 1991, the Undersecretary became the third highest. The Undersecretary of Education is appointed by the President of the United States with the approval of the United States Senate to serve at the President's pleasure. Undersecretaries and Key Deputies Stephen Allen Minter, an African-American leader in Cleveland, was the first Undersecretary at the newly created agency appointed by President Carter in 1979. Minter's deputies were Margaret McKenna, a civil rights attorney, and Michael Bacholis, who had recently run as the Democratic candidate for governor of Illinois. With Carter's loss in the 1980 presidential election, Minter left the role when Ronald Reagan took office in January 1981. President Reagan named appointed William C. Clohan, Jr., a veteran Republican staffer on Capitol Hill, as undersecretary in 1981. One year later, Clohan resigned abruptly, reportedly pushed out as a response to conservative groups' complaints that Secretary of Education Ted Bell was too moderate in his views about the future of the federal role in education. Clohan was replaced by Gary L. Jones, a vice president at the conservative American Enterprise Institute. In 1985, as William Bennett replaced Bell as secretary, Jones was replaced as undersecretary by Gary L. Barr, who later led the Conservative Family Research Council. Bennett and Barr's together launched an effort to challenge the efficacy of bilingual education. Among a number of deputies was Bruce Carnes, who played a major role in the administration's efforts to address problems of fraud and abuse by for-profit colleges. In 1987, Linus Wright, a Dallas educator, was appointed undersecretary by President Reagan. He stayed in the role into the beginning of the George H. W. Bush administration. In 1989, Bush replaced Wright with Illinois School's Chief Ted Sanders. In 1991, incoming Secretary Lamar Alexander added a deputy secretary role to the department, naming David T. Kearns, the CEO of Xerox Corporation, to that position, while keeping Sanders as undersecretary. The new deputy position was viewed as usurping the under as the second highest in the agency. In 1993, President Clinton appointed Marshal Mike Smith. After Madeleine Cunin left the deputy secretary role, Smith filled that role as acting and was formally nominated. At the time, Smith predicted confirmation might take quite a while. He held both positions confirmed as undersecretary and acting as deputy for the remainder of the administration. In 2001, President George W. Bush chose Jean Hickok, Pennsylvania Secretary of Education, as his undersecretary of education. In 2003, Bush used recess appointments to make various personnel changes, leading to Edward R. McPherson serving as undersecretary. Under the leadership of Secretary Margaret Spellings, in 2006, the undersecretary role took on a higher education focus with the appointment of Sara Martinez Tucker, the president of the Hispanic Scholarship Fund, as undersecretary. The higher education focus of the undersecretary office was continued by President Obama, who named Martha J. Cantor, a community college leader from California, to the role. Her deputy was initially Robert Shireman. He was succeeded by James Cavill in 2010. Cantor resigned in 2013 and was replaced by Ted Mitchell, the CEO of the New School's Venture Fund and former president of Occidental College. His deputy, Jamie Studley, led the administration's examination of data that could be used to help students assess college quality and value, leading to the college scorecard. President Trump never nominated anyone to the undersecretary role. He did continue the higher education focus of the position, appointing a deputy, Diane R. Jones, as acting undersecretary for the bulk of the administration. Jones revamped accreditation and other regulations to reduce federal oversight particularly of for-profit colleges, where she had previously worked. In 2021, President Biden nominated James Cable, 
the president of the Institute for College Access and Success and a former deputy undersecretary as undersecretary. A Senate confirmation vote is scheduled for September 13, 2021. The office's role in the Biden administration. In the Biden administration, the office of the undersecretary oversees policies, programs and activities related to post-secondary education, vocational and adult education, and federal student aid. The Office of the Undersecretary OUS is responsible for helping to implement the Secretary's Action Plan for Higher Education, which calls for expanding the accessibility, affordability, and accountability of higher education for more Americans. Key posts reporting to the Undersecretary.